Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caring for Sydney. I've got a Porsche Cayenne. Today I'm just going to go through the actual things I found. Um, <clears throat> if you look carefully into there, there's a bit of oil leaks from there, from the top. It's coming from the actual pul pulsation damper at, on the top, coming down, leaking down to the bottom. So we have to change that first and then wash it down and go from there. Okay? Number two. Uh, the carton shaft or tail shaft, see the rubber? If you look closely, the rubber there, the rubber is cracked. So let me get a uh, better view. See there? Alright, see that part there where the shadow is? That's your carton shaft center bearing. It's already cracked, so it's on its way. Usually, when they crack like that, Probably three to three to four months, then the whole shaft will start moving up and down and make a horrible noise when you're driving. All right, number three, we'll come back here. This is the lower control arm of your car. This part here, the lower control arm is starting to tear as well. If you look at the look inside there, look at the corner. Oh, sorry, see there, look at the rubber there. Look, look at that, look at that corner there. Okay. See that? It's already starting to, around there. The rubber is starting to wait, to, to tear. So this is the lower control arm. Okay. <clears throat> I have checked the service book. The car is due for a minor service and a brake fluid flush change. We come to the front here. Let's have a look at the actual brake pads. Okay, I just want to show. It's hard to show, but probably from here. There's your brake pads there. So it's about two mil until you touch the actual housing. So even though the brake pads seems thick, but there's two millimeter left until the actual uh, wire touches the actual disc and bring the lights on. So at the moment, not really a big deal. Usually when the lights come on, you can get it done or you can do it now. Okay, let's come to the interior. So if you look here, see that bubble there? There's not much you can do. You can only replace this part here or take it out and send away to get it repaired. Um, that's, that's the only way you can fix it. All right. And the PCM is not displaying here. So they're starting to play up. So there is a PCM upgrade I do for this model here as well. With the reverse camera, front camera, digital radio, uh, external Bluetooth, uh, navigation, and so on. Okay. Okay, the only humming noise I found from this car from the front is where the actual auxiliary water pump that sits down here that needs to be changed because it's always on when the AC is on intermittently. Alright, it's hard to show but it sits around here. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.